Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. Well, this is the scene inside the 54,000 all-seater Johan Cruyff Arena decked out in that hugely familiar livery of the club that the great man himself, Cruyff, represented. Ajax have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard working jobs, but if they can gain a one on one advantage, they can dictate. Well, we're on the way. Klaassen. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Talia Fico. Klaassen. Tadic gets it and now what? Gets good distance on it. This is promising. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. He's got himself a peach of a goal! Dispatched expertly, nicely done. The goal score after 11 minutes is number six. Utrecht take the early advantage. Ajax are behind here despite their domination of possession. Davy Klassen. Forward it goes. Emanuelsson, Utrecht have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Klaassen. Tadic has a go! And he heaves it forward. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Come on. Approaching the half hour mark. Meyer, who has made his impact already.
battles to win it back. Now it's Tadic. The referee's awarded a free kick. There could be trouble here, but for now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And it's Tadic. Klaassen. He can get that clear. Good challenge, he just stood firm. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Ball through needs to be good here. Shot at goal! Really well taken goal. And right on half time, that is telling. Simplicity itself. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. And that it. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So, a very watchable game so far. Action at both ends and the team's level. How would you review the first half? Yeah, I think they'll be happy with that scoreline. And that's the second half started. Ajax can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Over to the left. He's in space and looking for options. Looks to drop one in. And he's there to cut it out. Davy Klassen. Tadic gets it out to the wing and helps available out wide. He's left his man. Good ball, it's found its target. Goes for goal! He's delivered all right! Well, this guy is just not your average footballer. Alert and sharp. And while one or two others were still digesting the manager's half-time team talk, he's already delivering another lead. What a good player. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things. Just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and... The keeper had very little chance. Utrecht are making a change now. Substitution. Ajax go into the lead. Yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. Goes long. Well read, he sorted that out.
this defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, they're, they're keep... Emanuelsson with a definite fell there. to safety Talia Fico Tade tries a shot hits off target and by quite a way oh look I don't want to sound too dismissive but from here that looked the harder thing to do Hoist it forward. Deftly done. Hits one! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Good effort. Very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Some of the changes then in quick succession. Emanuelson. Emanuelson spreads it towards the left. Hit into the middle. Oh, smart save. I uh, needed a better pass there. Tadic. 75 minutes played. Davy Klassen. Silla. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Oh, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Cuts it out. Ajax are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Well, they're supposed to be chasing a goal, and yet there's no urgency or sense of awareness. They've got to wake up. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Utrecht have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Out to the left it goes. What an adventurous run from a defender. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Quick chance at goal. Had it. Chance to shoot! Good clearance and very necessary. Close, but time for no more. The whistle has gone. Ajax did it the hard way. A testament to their great powers of recovery. They have defied the odds. Your final thoughts, Jim? Ajax simply imposed their strength from start to finish, and this became as predictable 